Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to design this one employee payment details and how to back and code for this. So if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to the description there I put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing, just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to design for this one that is all employee working. So let me close this and start designing with that. So first thing what we have to do is we have to actually add one form inside this one. So let me minimize this little bit click on this right click and click on add and you have to select the form after this what we have to do is we have to give a name to this form so i'm going to name this one all employee working hit enter after this the new form is added first thing what i have to do is i have to actually remove the form borders type so right click and go to properties and there search for form border style just click on this and select none when you do that you can observe now the form border has been removed after this what I have to do is I have to actually set the size for this form so I'm going to move back to the complete project click on this and let me copy the size of this one 875 comma 512 so move back over here right click and go to properties search for size hit enter after this what I have to do is nothing but change the color so I'm going to copy the color code 151 comma 48 comma 103 so right click there on this click on properties and change the color hit enter after this we have to add one level so move back over here not this one actually okay so I'm going to go to toolbox and search for level just drag and drop it change the label color to white custom white and change the font size change this one to century gothic this one and size will be 14 I guess yeah, no. or if you need large then a oh, little bit italic and 14 yeah this one is good after this what I have to do is we have to change the text so change the text to all employee working hit enter now this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to add one button so I'm going to use the button so I'm going to use this one Guna 2 button so drag and drop it over here just remove the text from this one so search for text here it is okay we have to select this one and go to properties and then we have to just remove this text first after this we have to set the image so click on this local scissors click on import and select the image hit ok change the size to 30 comma 30 hit enter change the fill color to nothing but this one 151 comma 48 comma 103 so change this one and minimize this button a little bit like this and put this on the proper position now this one is looking better after this what we have to add is we have to add one data grid view so drag and drop this data grid view and just maximize this like this and here we go now this one is fine after this first thing what I have to do is I have to change the design name for this one change this one to BTN exit now just double click on this and this will generate a click event for this one and here what we have to do is this dot close okay now that button is functional next thing what I have to do is I have to connect this one with the dashboard so let me close these I don't need these for now dashboard is over here so we have to connect that with this one all employee working so first we have to change the design name for this one so search for that there we go so this one is DTM all employee working just double click on this and this will generate a click event DTN all employee working here what we have to do is we have to create an object of all employee working AEW is equal to new all employee working like this AEW dot show now this one is connected with the dashboard 
Next thing what I have to do is I have to actually set the proper coordinates for the start position for this form. So just double click on the empty space and this will generate a all employee working load event and here I have to set the location. So this dot location is equal to new point and it will set the coordinate 50 comma 170. Now let's start and check this if this works or not. Start with the project. Sign in. Click on this and here you can see this. This one is working fine. This close button is also working. We have what we have to do is we have to fetch the data from the database and show inside this one when this loads. So just close this and what we want is when this form loads then all the data of the employee who are working is still working in our hostel needs to be visible inside this data grid view. For that just double click on this and the load event we have to code. So here what we have to do is we have to write the query first. So before writing anything first thing what we have to do is we have to create a function class object so function fn is equal to new function. So in previous videos I have created this function class object function class actually and inside that I have created two methods. I have read the code for two methods and one method is used to get the data. It means that fetch the data from the database and second method is used to insert the data into the database. So if you have not watched my previous video then just watch the previous videos. Link is already in the description for all the previous videos. Okay. So the string and I'm going to name this one query you can name it whatever you want but I'm going to name this one query this is actually to write the query string variable okay so here this variable is of a string type so I can write a string variable into this one so here what query we have to write is select star from which table the table name is new employee where working is equal to yes it means that the working i want to face the details of only those employees who are working the status is yes okay so data set ds is equal to f and dot get data in the function class we have the method get data and this get data in this get data we have to pass the query so in this way we have to pass the query okay so now this get data method is going to return a data set object that's why i have created a data subject data set object over here and the fetch data will be stored inside this data set next thing now we have the data now what we have to do is we have to show that data into this data grid view so for that we have to just call this kuna2 data grid view dot data source is equal to ds dot tables zero like this that's it that's what we have to do just start this and let's check if this works or not so i've started the project just sign in click on this and in the load event i have written the code that's why it's taking a little bit of initial time here you can see this now kumar anil is working in our Hostel, that's why only his data is visible now when you again click this this one is quick okay so here you can see this this one is working fine and that's it for this video guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to code and design for the lead employee so stay tuned subscribe and share the tools thanks for watching